Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Sam and Max, the Devil's Playhouse. This may well be the final episode of this game. Um, I'm really hoping it isn't because I'm not ready for this to end yet, but a lot of you guys have been suggesting in the comments on the last episode that this one could well be the finale if we can do the puzzles and whatever we've got to do quickly enough. So, uh, I, I don't want it to end, but we're going to kick off with the notebook soon as we're apparently getting close to it. So, um, the case we know about, right? We don't need to... To review that one I don't think but we'll review the suspects and Max's powers so we've got Sam one half of the freelance police made solemn vow to protect Max no matter what for as long as he felt like it <laughs> awake for eight days and counting that's a long time Max transformed into colossal beast by power from the dark dimension inside to comfortably accommodate up to five adults will probably explode soon uh, I'd rather that didn't happen Dr. Mama Bosco, brilliant scientist, enjoying recently cloned fresh body, expert in genetics, communications, and of course, sass. Monsieur Paperweight, 150 year old formerly evil sorcerer, joined with the Oxagoth by a magic spell ruined by Samoth and Maximus. Has his shirt specially made by a discreet private tailor? <laughs> I can imagine that it's uh, quite difficult to get clothes that fit given his situation. Dr. Norrington, there he is with a pasted picture over the top of sellotape. The elder god Yogg-Sagoth, trapped in our dimension since 1901. New York City exotic pet license. Joined to Monsieur Paperweight by a magic spell ruined by Samoth and Maximus. Grandpa Stinky provided much needed disgusting food for the war effort. Target of at least four separate murder plots and awake for 1096 days and counting. <laughs> what on earth? Sal, Stinky's giant cockroach lover slash accomplice, fired from short order, um, for short order cook, security job, and dock worker jobs, and also dead, sadly. General Skunkarpe, despotic warlord from another galaxy, obsession with collecting toys of power has not gone well so far. Last seen flying around the city looking for new dating opportunities. <laughs> Flip paper, investigating Stinky and Sal for various wrongdoings, impossible to kill, even harder not to love. Awake for 45 minutes and counting, power naps. President Super Bowl, yep, he is the president for the time being. Former Secretary of the Posterior, now President. Uh, Commander in Chief and Operation Blow Up Max, uh, of Operation Blow Up Max. Last nap time is classified. Jurgen, German vampire and fashion icon fashion icon? I don't know about that. Currently Vice President of Public Relations for Hell LLC. Partial Filmography, Summer on the Nile, Techno Zombie Music, Why I Hate Sam and Max Volumes 1 to 8, 2008 to 2010. That's great, I love that. Sam and Mac, Ancient Egyptian Pharaoh who first discovered the Devil's Toy Box on Earth. Preserved brain briefly borrowed from Max's body to alter reality. Last seen operating General Skunkarpe's spaceship. The Cops, Correct team of obsolete computing equipment. Supervising tactics and logistics for the war effort. Firmware last updated during the Reagan administration. <laughs> Sybil Lincoln Pandemic. Married to Abraham Lincoln, former neighbor of Sam and Max, former scuba diver. And Abraham Lincoln Pandemic, so they both double barreled their names. Reanimated Lincoln Memorial statue, married to Sybil Pandemic, four score and seven tons of raw power. <laughs> Mametron 9000X, or EX. Fleet of giant battle robots commissioned by President Max. Comical mix-up with MP3 player programming makes them speak only in dated song lyrics. Head is fitted with a two-ton nuclear explosive aftermarket add-on. Man Max spores, horrible spores released by giant Max. Each has an aspect of Max's personality. Heat thoroughly to 175 degrees before serving. Satan, the father of lies, back in charge of hell after a recent power shakeup. Currently pursuing an anti-defamation suit against the creators of this game. <laughs> Mr. Featherly, award-winning actor of stage and sitcom, creator of the free-range method school of acting, tastes like himself. Sam Jr., roach grub he recently hatched from Max's roach farm. Immediately imprinted on Sam, New York City Child Protective Services <laughs> case file. <laughs> The narrator, manifestation of Max's super ego, currently in mid tantrum after years of neglect from Max. Turn ons, consciousness, moralizing, and diction. And there we have it. We can also check out the powers, though. He doesn't really have any, does he? We've got teleportation, future vision, rhinoplasty, mind reading, nutrition specs. We haven't really used that, have we? Um, Cannon Nuts, Charlie Hotep, who is, of course, back in the whatever he's gone um astral projection the chronic destroyer is the one that we need 
And that is that. Now that's taken five minutes, so hopefully this is not going to be the last episode of the series because we've taken so long. <laughs> we've got a fog it's machine. It's a big box packed with evidence, no doubt. That's from all of Stinky and Sal's failed attempts to knock off Grandpa before they hit on the magic recipe idea. The roach would dump the evidence off at the docks, then the mermaid would swim it down the Hudson. Wait, wait, wait. Stinky's a mermaid? Seriously, Sam? Try to keep up. Since when is Stinky a mermaid? Looks like some kind of fog machine. Good eye, Sam. Near as I can make out, Sal turned that on to cover up Stinky's little disappearing act. We can turn it on. Oh, there's laser beams. Okay. Well, it's lucky we didn't try and uh, go through there then. What can we do with the astral pyramid? Do I go back inside the body of my best friend, or do I stay here naked with a bomb strapped to my chest? <laughs> Um, we'll, we'll stay here. I'll stay now. here. Yeah, we'll stay here. Can we go down any of we these tunnels? We can't be wandering through mole tunnels now when there's so little time left to save Max. We can't. We can't be wandering uh, through mole tunnels now when there's so little time left to save Max. I mean, I wasn't. We can't be wandering through mole tunnels now when there's so little time left to save Max. Okay. Well, I thought we. Oh, oh, oh my God! What? What? What's happening? What's? What's happened to the camera? It's like flipped around the other way. Good thing I've been practicing my yoga during this whole crisis. Nice. So I wonder what would have happened if we hadn't turned on the fog machine to go through there? Would it have, like, just... It's a big hunk of rock. Left over from all the secret tunnels those lovebirds were having the mole people dig to pull off their scheme. Oh. She'd do anything to get rid of all that granite. I heard she was even selling it in sandwiches. <laughs> okay, what have we got here? Cloning console with a... If only I had more time, I could make it so these minions had cool handlebar mustaches and a natural talent with a sousaphone. Nice, but we don't have that. This this one's like inside the console. I'm not sure what's happened there. What have we got over here? Oh, there's some like really weird camera angles going on. I don't know what's happening. I can't do anything with these. Stinky must have put the cloning controls on lockdown. Okay. Uh, that was my fault, Sam. I was just trying to keep the clock from flashing 12. And the whole thing went haywire. Oh, well done, Flynn. Good job. Okay, so what's this thing? A projector? It's an old video projector. It was set up inside the diner, Sam. Turn it on at the right time. Cover it up with enough fog, and you can make it look like anything. It just appeared out of thin air. Oh, uh, okay. What's this? A photo. Hey, I recognize that. That's the cake of the dam. The evil recipe that Grandpa Stinky magically oh, yeah. turned into girl Stinky. Or so that poor sap Grandpa Stinky was supposed to think. Wait, I'll what? just call this Exhibit A. That wasn't real? Jinkies, it's a closed circuit TV camera hooked up to that projector. Right again, Sam. All she had to do was get Sal to hold up a photo at just the right time. And it was easy to make Grandpa Stinky think his magic spell had worked. Damn, they went for some elaborate plot. Can we... It's an old video projector. It was set up inside the diner, Sam. Turn it on at the right time. Cover it up with enough fog, and you can make it look like anything and just appeared out of thin air. Okay, well, we, we might do that. Let's carry on looking around. There's obviously this cloning pot. I think this body might have needed a few more minutes in the clone tank. I'm still feeling a little doughy. <laughs> All right, um, so we're getting now down to where the fight is. Oh, we can go past them. Okay. I wondered if we, that was going to be like a no-go area. Oh, like, okay, so we can see up here now. So we can talk to Skunkarpe. There is the, the Chthonic Destroyer that we need. Uh, let's just see. We can talk to Flynn. Uh, hiya, Flynn. Hey, Sam. Didn't recognize you without the suit. <laughs> this is some crazy case, huh? Couldn't say yeah, that. about this antimatter bomb. Oh, don't sweat it, pal. Once I finish off these hairy mugs, I'll round up those two saps and put a damper on that firecracker. Easy as portfolio diversification. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> you do that. Um, can we can we get past you? We can't, it turns out. Alright, let's talk to Skunkarpe. Also, what do we have items wise? So we've got a photo of the devil's toy box and we've got a photo Ah, I wonder if we can project the devil's toy box to do something with Skunkarpe then. Um let's just talk about him. This plan of yours will never work. Whatever it is. I land on a planet with a box full of the most inconceivably powerful objects in the universe, and I end up here with only one toy robot about to be blown up. Ah, oh, if only I hadn't disintegrated my life. <laughs> Stinky? Can't you see Stinky's just using you like she did Sal? Is that clone trying to talk to you? Ignore it, my queen. 
I have to ask you a question about this plan of yours. Um, what is it again? Ugh, it's so simple. Grandpa Stinky. Nothing can kill him, right? We've tried everything. Okay, but... Flint paper can kill anything. But he'd never go after Grandpa willingly. Ah, yes. Yes! I see. Except, no. Not really. <laughs> All right. Stinky's playing you for a chomp, champ. So, the detective will be tricked into murdering the elder Stinky? Because we put his brain into one of the minions' bodies and then ah. cloned millions of copies, so he'll never know which is which. Huh. It's genius in its simplicity. So that's what we saw back in the um, Skunkarpe ship, wasn't it? Hey, Skunky, hand over that robot and nobody gets hurt. Hmm, that clone. It's almost as if he were sentient. Well, no matter. The last surviving artifact of Yog Sogoth in the entire universe, and it's mine. This will be essential to my plans. As soon as I find out what it does, and what the plan is exactly, I've been meaning to ask my queen. I'm busy here. Well, we know what the plan is because we asked before. So, about the toy robot I was asking for? All these years, I've been thinking too small. With this toy robot, I can not only conquer this universe, but entire dimensions. <laughs> So I guess that means you won't let me borrow it for a few minutes? Ah, <laughs> uh, poor Skunkar Skunkarpe. He's, he started off as like a really good bad guy, but he's, he's kind of pathetic, isn't he? I feel sorry for him almost. Alright, can we, can we do anything else up here? Doesn't look like it apart from talk to him. So we know what the plan is anyway. I don't know if we can use that in some way. Um, let's just see if we can project any... No, I don't want to use the toothbrush. So let's see if I can project anything using these photos. This photo is probably useful somewhere, but that's not it. Okay, so they don't it's go an into old here. Video projector. It was set up inside the diner, Sam. Turn it on at the right time. Cover it up with enough fog, and you can make it look like anything. It just appeared out of thin air. So I'm guessing maybe we use, like he was suggesting, this on the camera. Uh -huh. Instant demonic spell. Pretty sneaky, Stinky. Oh. And since Grandpa Stinky thought he'd made her, he changed his will so that she'd get the diner if anything happened to him. I'm seeing it now. Right. It projects it onto the granite. Sim, Sim, Salabim. And Skunkarpe's going to think that's actually Why? the toy box. The devil's toy box? How can this be? The devil's toy box? It survived. Oh, he's coming down here with the toy. They said the toy box had been destroyed. Yeah, well, they say a lot of things. Yeah. A talking clone? Oh, now I see. You have come to make things difficult for me again. Yes, Sam? Um... You might as well give up, Skunky. Once Stinky's done with you, you'll be tossed out like yesterday's bacon fat. Nonsense. She has been madly in love with me from the moment she saw me. Animal magnetism like this. You can't just turn it off, you know? <laughs> How do you think I feel? <laughs> You're under arrest. Turn yourself in, Skunk Ape. Don't make things any harder on yourself. Since coming to this dreadful planet, I've been pulled through rock, shot at, imprisoned for decades, attacked by <laughs> mole men, pummeled by clones, and shot at by an overzealous pulp detective. <laughs> How could things possibly get hard? Oh, I wouldn't tempt uh, fate. You could do it without the hints turned on? <laughs> we don't use the hints. Hand over that toy robot, and I'll think about turning the toy box over to you. <laughs> Fair trade. You're hardly in a position to make demands, Sam. Why should I turn over this toy instead of simply taking what I want? Um, for my gun, for this bomb, for Max, for good, for 2348. Because I'll give you all the money I have in freelance police petty cash. Such a pitiful amount would barely pay for one of my chest waxing sessions. That's an image we didn't need for my gun. Because I'll shoot you full of lead if you don't. <laughs> Sam, 
Your earth bullets bounce off my hide like the gentle caress of a refreshing spring rain. But please, do your worst. Well, this is awkward. I seem to have left my gun in my other pants. <laughs> All right, for good. I, I don't. We're not going to trade Max. I'm not doing that. Because it's the right thing to do. Then I'll take my riches as ruler of the universe and donate them to cover my carbon offset. <laughs> for this bomb? Because if you don't, I'll blow up the toy box once and for all. Yeah, you wouldn't dare. The explosion would destroy you along with half the We're city. We're I'd destroy half of any city to save my best pal. Aww. Besides, I'm using a loader bomb. Yeah, that as well. Oh, serious? I'm just crazy enough to do it. No, here. Yeah. Take the robot. Oh my God, he actually Keep did it. Bomb away from the toy box. There. Antimatter bomb disabled. Containment protocols cancelled. What is he doing? Now I better get this robot into Max's brain before Skunk Ape realizes he's been flamboozled. <laughs> All right, let's do that. But I'm very happy to say that we're out of time, so this is going to go on, and there's going to be more episodes. So as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to our patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, Kumadim, Paul Leone, Flossy the Sheep, John Com 555 and Chrissy. And I'll see you next time for more Sam and Max, the Devil's Playhouse.